Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, we are 18 Group I'm Angga Pratia, which we study ID number 221091230029 I'm Aura Sasabila Yunijar Putri, which study ID number 221091212014 I'm Dwi Febrina Sulistia with study ID number 221091232027. I'm Nadia Askia Rahma with study ID number 221091220016. And I'm Yuga Dwi Mnoro with study ID number 221091232003. We are active student of The Public Health Study Program, Faculty of Medicine, Lambung Mangkurat University. Here, we will discuss about mental health. But before that, do you know what's mental health? According to the World Health Organization, mental health is a state of well-being in which individuals can realize their own potential. This means they can cope with the normal stresses of life, can function productively, and f- mental health is a personal and individual thing. It determines how a person relates to other handle stress and makes choices. Mental health is the way we think, feel, and act. Mental health, in my opinion, is a feeling or a condition that we can overcome in every situation of life. What do you think about mental health? In my opinion, mental health is when you feel happy without any pressure from any party. In my opinion, good mental health is when our inner and outer conditions are calm and serene without burdens that make us life happily. Mental health is a state where you feel stable and not stressed about something. What are the characteristics of someone whose mental health is disturbed? Exercise, fear, or anxiety. You often feel afraid, anxious, nervous, or excessively panic. Even over trivial things, mood swings, it can be intense sadness, inability to express joy, indifference to the situation, feelings of hopelessness, laughter at inappropriate times for no apparent reason, or suicidal talks. Thinking problems Inability to contest or problems with memory thinking or speech that are difficult to explain. Change in sleep or appetite. Sleeping and eating habit that change dramatically can be more or less than usual. It's usually accompanied by rapid weight gain or loss. Withdrawal frequently sitting and doing nothing for long periods of time or taking breaks from activities that were previously enjoyed. What causes a person mental health to be disturbed? Used to life in anxiety, used to being blamed by people around us, There are many toxic people around us, so we are afraid of making mistakes, afraid of being seen as abnormal because of the mistakes we have made. And next, overthinking. Thinking too much about something that has happened or that has never happened. Never stop for a moment to enjoy the time. Um, maybe environmental pressure that demand perfection, burned with text and traumatized by something. 
Next question, how to prevent our mental health from being disturbed? Okay, now we're going to talk about what we must do to maintain mental health. Firstly, I think we have to control our emotion. Learn not to be easily... Okay, now we're going to talk about what we must do to maintain mental health. Firstly, I think we have to control our emotion. Learn not to be easily offended by anything someone says. Sort out what they said and take the positive side of things. And then, I think we have to try new things. When there is shortage of time or you start to feel bored with the same activities, then you can fill your time with trying new things along or with your friends. Tell order or sharing, yes, you have to tell people you trust can reduce the burden you are carrying. Oh, I think hang out. It's more, it's more use. Even if it's only 10 minutes a day, take time to sit or walk in the open, in an open space around by trees and fresh air. This will instantly lift more or less stress level in the mind and recharge the energy in the body. Uh, I think smart is useful. Always take the time to exercise. Exercise is more important. Eat healthy food so that work in this life will be even better. Next is meditation. Take some time for yourself for ourselves by meditating. 10 to 5 minutes a day is a dial, especially before bed. Before we go to sleep. Next is smile. We have to keep smile, even though it sounds trivial. A smile can always change the world to be more positive, to be more positive vibe, positive energy, or something else. Next is greet someone. Greetings a lot of people with a standard greeting like good morning, good afternoon, good evening or hello, hi, nice to meet you, will boost your confidence as well as improve your social aspect. Social aspect. Sorry. Get out of your comfort zone, which is always silent and waiting to be greeted by others because of prestige. Next is you have to have fun. You have to have it. Look for a positive hobby that can make you happy, can make you cherish, can make you smile, can make you feel comfortable, that makes you forget all of the virtue, all of your problem, all of your stress, and don't be shy to laugh out loud. And the last one is get enough rest. To realize optimal mental health, adequate rest is needed after doing activities during the day. Okay, that's all from us. Thanks for listening to our podcast about mental health. See you! Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh!